In this video, we're going to look at the effect of, um, or what causes translation in the frequency domain. And by that, what we mean is that if we take the Laplace transform of e to the minus a t, f of t, let me write it up here, and then we'll talk about what we're saying here. It's equal to f of s plus a. So what we're saying here is that we have some f of t. And we have it such that the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s. If we take this f of t and multiply it by an exponentially decaying term, um, in other words, put an exponential decay onto this function, in the Laplace domain, it has the effect of replacing s with s plus a. Or it's going to translate this f of s function a distance a units along the s axis. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Simply from the definition of the Laplace transform, we can write then the integral from 0 minus to infinity of f of t e to the minus a t, just re you know, uh, rearranging the order there so that the exponential terms are together. So this is the thing we're wanting to Laplace transform times e to the minus s t dt. Now, notice we have two exponents multiplied together, exponential terms multiplied together. Add the exponents. This then gives us the integral from 0 minus to infinity of f of t e to the minus s plus a t dt. So, these two terms both have t's. Factor the t out, factor the minus sign out, and we're left with s plus a, e to the minus s plus a, t, dt. Now, we need to be just a little insightful here and look at this and say, this is just the definition not of f of s, but of f of s plus a. And that's what we were set out, setting out to demonstrate. Well, is this really f of s plus a? What does that mean? If you're not sure about that, let's just take a look here. Here's our defining integral for the Laplace transform, 0 minus to infinity, f of t e to the minus st dt. That is, by definition, f of s. Well, let's see, f of, let's write it like this, f of s plus a. So if this is f of s, what will f of s plus a be? Well, that would be simply replacing any s in f of s with s plus a, or we would have then f of t e to the minus, replacing s with s plus a, t dt. And that's exactly what we've got here. This or the effect of multiplying f of t by e to the minus a t, putting this exponential decay on it, results in the Laplace transform being shifted along the s-axis.